Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. Here we have a stock image from Dreams Time. I'll put the link in the sidebar if you want to purchase it. So how to make eyes that really pop out. So the way I like to do it is first create a contrast layer by going down here. I like to work on contrast layers so I can go back and later edit. And right now just sort of create a general edit. Uh, bring in the darks by moving this bottom spot and bring up the lights a little bit by clicking and dragging the spot over here. So I bring up the contrast and uh, bring it down a little bit here. This is just general edits. So I'll refine that later. I make sure black is in the background. I can click this here default button and then press control backspace and that fills my contrast layer with black. Now I can zoom into the eye and selecting the brush tool and make a smaller brush and I can paint white on the eye. I can paint all in here and so I select the area that I want to affect with this contrast layer. So now zooming back out I can further edit my curves layer here. Make more darks so I get a good dark black and then I'll take this dot off. You can just pull it off the graph to delete it. And now I'll increase the contrast quite a bit. Now the whites of these eyes look a little overexposed, so I can zoom into them and I'm going to brush at 50% opacity by pressing the 5 key, or you can go up here and edit it. And I'm going to brush with black. I'll flip these two. And there you can see that makes this contrast layer only affect that part by 50%. I'll do the other eye as well. And we can zoom out. And if we look at the before and after, you can see a considerable increase. If you want to bring this back a little more, I could do that. Another thing, you could make sure these pupils are black by painting a little black in here and maybe a little dodging and burning if I click on the background and press Control J to duplicate. Now I can select the burn tool and I'll do the shadows at about 30% and get a smaller brush size and just increase the contrast a little bit more. You can see the difference there. Another thing you can do is with the burn tool is darken up the eyelashes and the eyebrow if you want and check out the before and after now these eyes are pretty saturated already but if your eyes need a little more saturation you can easily do that by pressing control click on the layer mask you already have and then creating a new layer mask with saturation and as you can see, it keeps the layer mask you have already selected and then increase the saturation. And you can look for and after. If you want to you can see right here, it's a little bit too red. You can paint with black there. The whites of the eyes, you probably don't want to increase the saturation with. You might want to decrease the saturation of the whites. You can do that on another layer by selecting view saturation and we'll just bring it down quite a bit and you can see it's all white. Now I have the black as my foreground layer so I'll press alt backspace to fill it with the foreground and then with the brush again I'll brush some white with these colors and it was pretty white from before but if I want to remove any yellow that could have been in there that's how I would do it. And there you have it. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.